Good morning. I'm sorry to call so early. Is it possible to speak to Lars Peter Hansen, please? Uh, this is he. Oh, hello. My name is Adam Smith. I'm calling from NobelPrize.org, the uh, official website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm, Sweden. Yes. Uh, we have a tradition of interviewing new laureates on the day of the announcement just for two or three minutes. Would you be happy to speak? I would be. Thank you. Well, first of all, many congratulations on the Economics Prize. Thank you. Thank you. How did you hear the news? Uh, I just got a phone call uh, about ten minutes or ten or fifteen minutes ago. Were you sleeping when it came? Uh, no, um, I'm an early riser, so it, uh, uh, I had already taken my dog out and was uh, eating breakfast and was about to head off to exercise. And what was your first thought on hearing it? Uh, very surprised. I was, yeah, no, I, I, I was, of course, very pleasantly surprised, but I was very surprised. <laughs> And the prize links you with Eugene Fama and Robert Schiller. Yes. That must be nice. Uh, sure, yeah. No, I, I have great respect for both scholars, and I'm certainly been influenced by their work as well. Yeah. And Although I feel quite old, I guess I'm the youngster in this crew. So. <laughs> <laughs> and your work really deals with the question of uncertainty and how you deal with uncertainty and risk. Yeah. Yeah. And for those who um, are not in the finance community and haven't really encountered this before, how would you describe what you do? Um, so I think there's kind of two aspects to it. One is um, I've done work on what, you know, what's called ec econometrics, or, which is a, a statistics and economics, and, 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 I, and, and I did work that I think of in a very simple way as trying to show you how you can do something without without having to do everything. That's kind of a funny way to put it. But um, if you want to study a uh, dynamic economic system, what you'd like to be able to do is focus on the linkages, say, between um, asset markets and the macro economy without having to model everything at the same time. And so that, so my econometric work was kind of devoted towards that, and that opened the way to think about um, studying and testing a variety of different asset pricing models and models that, that link the macro economy and, 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 and security markets. Um, <coughs> So for me, it's and and then where uncertainty comes into play is you know you need to have ways to address the fact that uh, investors say um, they you know they respond to information and uh, they struggle with kind of you know what the right you know what the right view of the world is and and, and you need to have ways to kind of capture that, you know those struggles and how they reflect in asset markets. Mm. And how well do you think we can do that now? Uh, we're making a little bit of progress. I think it's. I think there's a lot more to be done. Uh, but I, I think that you know the challenges have been, uh, have been made. The modeling challenges have been made clear, and I think there's been. Uh, I, I think that opens the door for a lot of uh, exciting future work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you work at Chicago, and there have been so many economics prizes for the University of Chicago. What is it about the place that is so productive? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I, I've. Uh, um, so yeah, I've. Uh, I've been I've been here for quite a while, so I actually watched many of my colleagues uh, in the past get Nobel prizes, and uh, and I'm very close to some of those. Um, it's it's a few things. I mean, certainly having such a distinguished uh, faculty uh, set great examples for me. I mean, to have um, uh, a lot of my co uh, colleagues were have been people with very broad interests in economics, uh, not just narrow nearly focused interest and, and, and really convinced that economics has to, is there to explain stuff to understand the real world better it's not just some intellectual game hmm. and uh, completely committed to that type of mentality and you know it's, it's people here just don't slow down I've got you know I've got senior colleagues like uh, you know Jim Heckman Gary Becker and Bob Lucas that you know they just they, they remain incredibly active, they, they remain incredibly energetic, and, are, are, and for me have been remarkable role models. So, uh, so I think it's kind of the breadth and the fact that you really want to take economics seriously and that, there's, and, uh, and that it's, and it's there to do something meaningful. Thank you very much indeed. Now, uh, um, we would, if we may, like to speak to you at a greater length um, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time perhaps, but sure. uh, for now we should leave you to get on with what's looking like it's going to be a pretty busy day for you. Yeah, How do you... Just like the world, I don't quite know what's, what's ahead for me, but uh, I'm sure you're right. I guess, I, guess the, I guess the world's press are going to descend on you. How would you feel about that? How do you feel about publicity? Uh, I, I haven't really processed that part yet, so I guess I'm going to have to wing it. <laughs> okay, well, best of luck with it all, and once again, many congratulations. Sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.